Please rise for the Star Spangled Banner by our chamber choir. Welcome to our Winter Tri-M concert. Glad to see you all tonight. What a great way to end our week before we head into a great relaxing vacation. Um, I'm glad I got to see so many of you on Monday night. Those of you coming on our Disney trip, it was great to see you then as well. Twice in one week, we're all so lucky. But this is really way better because you get to hear beautiful music tonight. So um, I'm really excited to present to you our chamber choir, our chamber orchestra, and our wind ensemble. And um, a few quick things coming up soon, a little update. As I just mentioned, we have our Disney trip on March 7th. And we have, oh, we have our musical Newsies on March 22nd. Some of your children are involved in that. So please come out to all of our events coming up. But please enjoy tonight's concert. It is my honor to introduce to you our Chamber Orchestra under the direction of Catherine Burke. Enjoy the concert, thank you.
Hi, thank you so much for being here tonight. We're thrilled. We hope you enjoyed that. It starts out a little Mozartian and then gets very rock and roll as we go. Now for something completely different. Give us just a few quick seconds and we're going to do a, a little bit of a set change to give you some beautiful harp and string music. So, hold tight. Look at her go. 
How about another round of applause for our resident partners? So as you can see, we love a set change. It's kind of a problem, sorry. I love a set change. We have an incredible cello section here this year at Harris High School. And so I thought we should do a cello concerto. The concerto is only for one player, so we're just gonna have them all do it. So this is a cello concerto played by, how many of you are there, 11? 11 cellos, with Dylan playing the continuo part. So it sounds a little bit louder than a normal cello concerto would, but we don't think you're gonna mind. We think you're gonna really like it. So here is the Baldi cello concerto in A minor, third movement, with all of the cellos. So we actually performed this next piece, Shine You No More, which is written by the Danish String Quartet, which is an incredible string quartet um, made up of all um, people from Denmark, actually, and they kind of all look like Vikings, so it's really fun to watch them. And one of them wrote this piece, and I just love it. So I found myself adding it to our December concert, and we only got to play it once, and it was kind of a short but sweet but kind of rushed thing. So we added it to the end to be our finale for tonight's concert, but we decided to level it up a little bit. So we hope you enjoy. Shine you no more.
Thank you so much. This will be a quick set change again, and then the chamber choir will be on. Thank you so much for staying. We are so excited to hear the other ensembles. Hi everybody and welcome to the Chamber Choir portion of um, the concert. Um, we are with, there's a slight change in the program. We are putting the Mozart at the end and we are starting with uh, the second of the five Hebrew love songs from Eric Whitaker. Um, also, if you have the uh, if you have the program on your phone, all of the program notes are in are on that app as well if you're able to get them. So especially as we are singing in some of the pieces, you will get the, uh, the translation. So just a little bit of background with this piece. Eric Whitaker is an American uh, composer, very, very famous. His, uh, this was written for the occasion of his marriage <coughs> to uh, Hila Plickman. And so she is the one who wrote, she is Israeli, she is the one who wrote the lyrics to this. In May, we will be doing all five of them, but right now you just get a taste, you get the second one, which is, uh, let me give you the translation, Light Bride, she is all mine, and lightly she will kiss me. And uh, a huge thank you to uh, Su Young Kim, who's our amazing accompanist on this, and then we also have Chloe Yao on tambourine. So this is Eric Whitaker. <coughs>
So before we uh, continue, I just wanted to say a few words about this beautiful, beautiful piece called Sing to the Moon. I heard this about 10 years ago, and it was really um, more a pop song. I heard it, it was introduced to me by uh, a, a niece of mine. And it turns out that the singer, Laura Mungula, uh, is also, um, she's also not only a composer, but she's also an arranger. And what she went off and she did was she arranged this for, uh, for eight, uh, four voices, or eight voices, I can't remember. But um, I also wanted to read you some of the words because um, what caught me was the opening line that says, Hey there you, shattered in a thousand pieces, weeping in the deepest night. Hey there you, trying to stand up on your own two feet, stumbling through the sky. Hey you, a broken soul, hold on. And so um, I always say to my chorus, you never know who's out there and who needs to hear it, but whoever this is meant for this evening, we hope that you enjoy it and we hope that it can allow you find some solace and some peace. This is Laura Mavula's Sing to Thank you. 
changing completely is uh, this is Mozart. The one that we just sang was from the Beach Boys, God Only Knows. Cool. Isn't that a nice piece? Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is, they are in mixed formation. Go on to the floor, Joe. Come on, go on to the floor. Don't so they're asked not to stand beside somebody who sings their part. Uh, and so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background with the Mozart. There are nine verses and the whole thing was going to take too long, so Mozart decided to put, to kind of truncate everything. So four verses are happening at the one time, so they're all saying something different. It is in uh, Latin, and what they are saying is, uh, the Lord is worthy of praise at all times and in all places, because he is incomparably high, and also because he is, in, he is incomparably humble. Um, this is something that we are going to be doing for our Nisma. Uh, we're also then we go from there and we end with may the road our Irish blessing. So thank you so much for coming out. And thanks for for being here, and we hope that you've enjoyed our section of the program.
Some variety also, and before I get up with Eric's window ensemble, and not before we, I would like to introduce my concert master, Sitara Kesaba.
So that was, uh, did you watch Maestro? Yeah. Did, did you guys watch that on Netflix? I have not. <laughs> but Leonard Bernstein is all the rage right now, and I promise you I'll watch it over the break. But I haven't had time. But I did have, I did, when I first went to Michigan, I signed and conducted the NFL Philharmonic in Mahler 5. It's so my first week at the University of Michigan. It was life changing. Here comes Leonard Bernstein just out here like this, and kind of gives, kind of gives us knowing nod to the audience and then he goes and does actually start with Haydn that night. And I was sitting next to the assistant. You know, Leonard Bernstein, when you watch that movie, the main thing for me is he was a man of extremes. Like it was either really oh my goodness, or it was just, he never lived his life monotonous. He was a man of extremes. And actually that particular piece you heard is actually three sailors from his first musical that come off a ship and they're so amazed by New York City that they do a ballet. Three sailors. So next we'd like to do a piece called Boral Pines. Boral Pines is a very important forest in the northern canyon in Alberta. And it was devastated by fire in 2016. Perhaps a heartbreaker of what happened last year when many, 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 many acres and miles of things burned. And this, poor, this small little town has really had to be evacuated. And the high school band asked Kate Nishimura uh, in 2021 to please write a piece of memorial for this forest and for their land that they loved. It was totally changed by this devastating fire. So in this piece you're gonna hear, at the very beginning you're gonna hear uh, everyone's playing little snippets of their own music, so to speak. She wrote little things for everybody to play, and that's kind of like the trees. And then it has this very, very beautiful kind of melody that turns quite hopeful in the end, and then the end ends very wonderful as the forest sounds come back. So we hope you enjoy Kate Nishimura's For Our Pines, written in 2021. Kate Nishimura, I think is maybe 20 years old. Amazing, but many words. Thank you.
next composer, Claire Gutman, actually wrote a lot of music in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and into the 80s. He's a really hallmark band conductor. He wrote a very Americana style that was all his own. So he would take folk dances, all kinds of music, and, and write for bands. So if you look in the catalog, he's everywhere. And so I love his music, and uh, I found this in our library. We have a very fast library over the years. Herrick's band program was over since the 50s, and had, it was an amazing band program in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, led by Dwight Dwyer. Anyway, so I found this Claire Grumman piece called Flutation. We have these wonderful flute players, and I just love this thing. It's in 3-4. So if you maybe want to dance, you can. But uh, and it's just really a wonderful uh, style. And I hope you really enjoy Flutation, Claire Grumman, featuring our wonderful flute player.
Wherever you find happiness, you will find a flu choir. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming out. I really want to wish you on behalf of the whole music department really a wonderful uh, long weekend coming up. And if you're around next week, please really enjoy it. Enjoy yourselves. And so I don't have anything fancy to say other than I'd like to close with the Scottish, the four Scottish Kansas. This is another bedrock piece in the in the canon of band music written by Arnold Jacobs. I, don't, I mean, sorry, Malcolm Arnold. So Malcolm Arnold, I get him mixed up. Malcolm Arnold actually wrote for the BBC back in the 50s and 60s. So this was actually scored for uh, for a program. And so it's kind of big kid music, and it has four things. The first thing is a um, a Scottish reel, and then there's two inner movements. The third movement sounds like Mendelssohn, it's so beautiful. It features our vocal player, Sam Hugh. And then we close with the rousing uh, fourth movement, Presto. So we hope you really enjoy it. Thank you so much for coming again. And to all our wonderful groups, the orchestra, the chorus, and the wind ensemble, thank you for coming.